half a shot at each drink. I just remember we got all day of drinking, so Heidi has three drinks, vodka drinks here. And a vodka drink, and a vodka drink, and a vodka drink. And I'm just missing a whiskey drink. Okay. So not a brewery, it's Faction Brewing. Not a brewery. Yeah, oh, we're gonna right. mess brewery. it up all day. Yeah. So Sippy Cup Adventures takes us to the island of Alameda. We've never been to Alameda before, so we're exploring. Alameda, Spanish for tree-lined path, is located next to Oakland, and the city is primarily located on Alameda Island with a population of nearly 80,000. Alameda occupies what was originally a peninsula connected to Oakland, which was mostly low-lying ground and marshy. The island is known for its shipyard and Port of Oakland as well as its naval air station which has since been retired and coming up you will see what the Navy base has become. And we are at first Faction Brewery, first stop, you can see the cityscape maybe. I can't see even into the lens, but this is an old Navy base. So yeah, this old Navy base has been turned into what is now known as Spirits Alley. This is a cluster of artisan distilleries and tasting rooms that run along Monarch Street at Alameda Point. This has helped transform the former Naval Air Station into a popular destination for both tourists and locals. Faction Brewing is where we started and had lunch. St. George Spirits next door was temporarily closed. There's Hangar One Vodka and Runway Spirits Cocktail Bar, which is above Hangar One. Building 43 Winery and Dash Cellars, which we did not get to. There's also Almanac Beer Company, which seemed very popular. We didn't stop by this time, but it seems to be, quote unquote, the place to go. And we'll definitely give it a try next time we visit Alameda Island. So we're gonna do some wine tasting and beer tasting here in Alameda. And we're food. Gonna... Don't forget the food. And food. <laughs> oh, and the beach. Back to the beach. So Cheers. yeah, the seats are a little hot because they're black. <laughs> Nice cars. Scotch. So, how did ordering the beer go? All right, so they have a QR code, which has all of their beers, or you can order from Cody behind us. Uh, it's the 15 or so beers that they have on tap outside. Super easy. Or that guy delivers delivers whatever they don't have on tap outside, I guess. You can get inside. You get inside. Yeah. There's, there's more selection inside, but you also have to pay on the app. So, easy peasy. So you, if you want a beer inside, you pay on the app, or you QR code it and then pay on the app. Yeah. So it's paid the for. The website. Or if you go to the beer tent where Cody is, you just pay for that beer there. Right. So I have two tabs open. <laughs> Today, it's hard to find a good red beer. Everything's IPAs or fruity and stuff. So this is a Mars and this is exactly what I wanted. So I was able to get that. So they make their own beer here. Yes. So you're not gonna find Bud, Bud Light, Coors, Coors Light or any other alcohol. Their ABC license is for their beer only. <laughs> so to clarify, all the beer on tap is brewed by Faction Brewery. There are canned beers of other beer distributors so but grab a red you shouldn't eat any of them what's that you should not eat any of these fries they're horrible 
It's really good. stay on the yellow brick road. Women's restroom. So that was fun in faction. Now we're at Hangar One Vodka, which is literally right next door. I'd have loved to have another beer at faction, but one, I gotta pace myself <laughs> since we're gonna be going to breweries and wineries and two yeah sitting outside um, having a beer that gets warm is not ideal but the beer was good Already Now that's funny, the drunken Arnold Palmer, known as the John Daly, because Arnold Palmer invented the Arnold Palmer tea, which is just tea and lemonade. But by adding this Buddha's hand citron that apparently spices it up a bit, it becomes a cocktail, a drink that John Daly would have imbibed in amongst other cocktails. Yeah, yeah, so it's, it's, sweet, it's sweet tea and lemonade with our Buddha's hand, citron vodka, and it kicks it up a little bit. There is a really nice gift shop at Hangar One where you can shop their line of spirits. Okay, so the upstairs bar is called the Runway cocktail bar runway cocktail bar it's its own entity it's not part of uh, hangar one but you could get whiskey scotch gin and all that kind of stuff yeah it's a full service bar yeah um it's cool fun place Hangar One Vodka, Faction Brewery is right around the corner. The St. George Spirits, they're closed temporarily. And now we're going to Building 43 Winery. Winery. And Rock Wall is a winery that's closed. And of course, on their website, it's closed due to the High cost of California. Not laying blame on themselves. Maybe they their wine sucked. Who knows? Make it close available. Blame it on California? Yeah, there's high price for everything, but all these places are working. We stopped in at B Building 43 Winery. It was mostly reds with one or two whites. I prefer reds, but the tannins give me hot flashes, so I stick to whites. We just had one glass of white wine. Hot flashes. We then checked out the Alameda Waterfront Park, which is a new park, and it's not shown here on Google Maps because it's new. It's really a nice open space for families. If the water looks like it has a red tint to it, it does. It's what's known as red tide, an algae boom that has inundated the Bay Area and especially the Oakland estuaries. There's been a devastating loss to marine life since late July. Algae blooms are not uncommon, but this bloom is particularly worrisome as it's lasted longer due to warmer weather and less rain. Nature will take its course. Is it harmful to humans? Not necessarily, but I certainly wouldn't want to test the theory out. But you don't want your dog swimming in it. Seen in the background is the USS Hornet Sea, Air, and Space Museum. We'll have to give it a try next time we're in town. 
Now it's off to the beach. We checked out the Robert Crown Memorial State Beach and found out that it's a bit small and was difficult to find a place to enjoy the beach. There are designated spots reserved for windsurfers to set up, which took a good portion of this small beach away from beachgoers. That and there was a soccer team practicing on the beach. And so this is where you see us driving in and then this is the part of the beach right here that's reserved for beachgoers. But again, it's a little packed. Never mind the red line going in the beach. I got a little squirrely with my mapping. <laughs> so we drove around the corner on Shoreline Drive and this clip is reversed. Hence why we're going backwards because we didn't film driving to this part of the beach. Alameda Beach is quite long and there is plenty of room to spread out. There are restrooms, but parking can be challenging. Dogs are not allowed at this beach. As far as the red tide here, it was not as prevalent and people were swimming in the water.